for just a few days to the December 7th elections, we invited you here to draw your attention to some critical developments that have a bearing on the conduct of a free, fair, transparent, and credible election. Ladies and gentlemen, the conduct of a free, fair, transparent, and credible election is not an event, but a process. Therefore, the processes leading to the conduct of elections must be fair, transparent, and inclusive to engender trust among stakeholders. Unfortunately, this has not been the case. The Jane Mensah-led Electoral Commission continues to disregard political actors in decision-making on critical issues regarding the elections. It is common knowledge that until recently, Ghana's Electoral Commission was among the most well-respected election management bodies in the world under the leadership of Dr. Skojua Farijan and Madame Charlotte Ose. Unfortunately, the credibility of the commission began to decline when President Okufuado supervised the forced removal of Mrs. Charlotte Ose from office and appointed Mrs. Jen Mensah and Dr. Bosman Asari, who are both perceived to be sympathizers of his party. Jen Mensah is, in fact, a direct, a direct relative of the First Lady, Rebecca Okufu Ado. Since the appointment, various actions by Jen Mensah and Bosman Asari confirm that they are not neutral and they were appointed to do the bidding of President Akufu Ado and the MPP. I'm quoting from the U.S. 2019 Human Rights Report issued by the U.S. Department of State. I'm quoting. It says, the June ouster of the Electoral Commission chairperson and the President's subsequent failing of the position with persons considered to be biased in favor of the ruling party raised questions about whether the body might be used to stifle registration in areas of support for the opposition. 